Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hausemeyer, and this is Kay Thompson. Thank you, Bradley. Coming up, we're going to be looking at some hot new concept vehicles and telling you if they are awesome or full of fail. Yes, and I'll be in Silicon Valley for an exclusive behind the scenes look at Tesla Motors. This is a company that's hoping to revolutionize the way Americans get around. Pretty cool. But first up, the TransLogic World Report. <laughs> A group of American engineers have developed a street legal car that not only has zero emissions, but it's going to get you into shape as well. Let's check out this human car. The Imagine PS is the world's first bionic human hybrid, utilizing an electric motor along with some old school human power. Yes, please. Yeah. Charles like S. That. Greenwood, he's the creator of this, he claims that this car is going to get about 30 miles per hour, and going downhill is going to get about 60 miles per hour. Well, all things go faster downhill, so. That's true, except yeah. a worm. The governator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, announced that California is planning on developing a high-speed rail system that will make all other rail systems in America seem like puny little girly men. I know, this is fantastic, because this new train line is actually going to connect L.A. and San Francisco, and at time it's going to get all the way down to San Diego. The L.A. to San Fran line will be done by 2020, and at speeds up to 220 miles per hour, the coastline trip should take about two and a half hours. Well, that's it for the news, and now it's time for FTW or WTF. All right, in this segment, we're going to take a look at the latest concept vehicles and decide if they're for the win or leave us saying, what the F? Right? Let's take a look at the NASA Puffin. Yeah, it's cool, an cool thing, right? It is. It's awesome. It's an electric-powered, whisper-quiet, vertical takeoff and landing personal plane that cruises at 150 miles per hour and tops out at 300 miles per hour. Awesome. It's insane, and it has a range of only 50 miles, but who cares? Who cares? You're flying. Yes, 300 miles an <laughs> hour is worth it. That's crazy, but in... 300 miles an hour in going 50, 50 miles. miles. You're like, yeah, I'm there. But it's fine. Right? NASA is planning on debuting an actual one third size version of this thing within the next month. So, Bradley, do I even have to ask? This is the biggest win in the history of wins. FTW, hands down. That's it for FTW, WTF. Now, in the automotive world, no one has more buzz than the all electric Tesla Motor Company, right? From a small startup to now they're knocking on the doors of American car manufacturing giants. This next decade might very well belong to this American brand. Uh -huh. And I was lucky enough to tour their factory. Not so much you, more so me. Now, we're going to get a look at behind the scenes, how their cars are made and put together, and what's maybe the future of American muscle. We're here in Menlo Park, California, outside the Tesla factory, where these little things get put together. We're going to go inside and talk to somebody who knows a little bit more about them. Let's go. Now, a normal combustion engine in a car has hundreds of moving parts, right? But the motor in a Tesla has two, and it weighs 115 pounds. How does this work? An electric motor is quite simple. There's really only two parts, and only one of them moves. The rotor is the part that moves. It's in the middle. And then the stator on the outside. And they're really both just series of electromagnets aligned up in a way that gets you lots and lots of power in a very small package. This car uses lithium-ion batteries, right? Like in a computer. There are 6,831 small individual batteries wired up into 99 of what we call bricks. So we can get high voltage from a lot of small, lower voltage individual cells. Done. Another obvious thing with this car is it's carbon fiber throughout the body. But what was the reasoning behind that? In a sports car, weight is everything. It's good for power, braking, acceleration in, in any direction, both turning and forward. We chose carbon fiber for its weight characteristics, but also for its strength. It makes it a very safe car. The hood weighs eight and a half pounds, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty much what I weighed when I was born. How much did you weigh when you were born? Right around there. That's fantastic. We're actually going to call your mom and double check that. Okay, let's turn on the car. You just turn the key, two clicks forward. All the lights come on, screens come active, and you hear that chime. On top of that chime, you also hear some contactors in the back of the car. Those are letting high voltage out of the battery pack now, so the car is now live. On here, you've got a lot of different information. This is our VDS, or Vehicle Display System. Okay. You've got tire information. This will bring up PSI on all the tires, as well as temperatures. It'll actually learn new tires. The car will automatically take speed readings from the ABS sensors and recalibrate itself to the new tires. Mind-blowing. <laughs> You've got the security pin for the car. Up here you've got uh, valet mode, or sometimes known as teenage son mode as well. Uh, it shows you the uh, distance you've traveled, uh, the top speed reached, and the amount of times they've opened your trunk, which should also be zero if they're just parking in the back yeah, lot. Very yeah, very cool. Uh -huh. That's it for today. Special thanks to Dan for showing us the inner workings of all these beautiful machines. We're going to take it back to the studio, but stay tuned because we've got more coming to you right from the factory. I'm in heaven. I'll see you. Special thanks to Tesla for showing me around. In the coming weeks, we're going to be getting more from me and them as I get my hands on a Roadster and drive it. 
you lucky bastard. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, that's it for TransLogic. Make sure to check us out next week, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.